Good morning. We're going to go check out the greenhouse, see what's going on in there. Things starting to look pretty good. Got a lot of plants growing, fish growing. Take a look at our fish. And they're kind of hard to see, but uh, we've got about 200 uh, blue tilapia in there right now. We're growing pretty well. Here's our breeders. We've got four in there right now, one male and three females. Just finished this cover on this uh, tank yesterday. I've actually got, uh, there's one female in there right now. She's holding a bunch of eggs. So it won't be long. We'll have uh, a bunch of babies. <coughs> Here's our plants, cucumbers, crazy cucumbers. Oh yeah, these are some more fish too I have. These are uh, a bunch of uh, African cichlids that I'm just trying to grow out. A bunch of different varieties in there. There's a bunch of lettuce we got going on. There's, let's see if I can find, where is it here? Oh yeah, there's, there we got one big cucumber. Tomato plants come along nice. These are a variety of monster tomato. Uh, here's a couple that are coming in right now. Yeah. Shabby. A bunch of garden beans. They come along nice too. We picked a bunch off of here already. There's a few that are ready to be picked now. Cantaloupe aren't doing so good. I mean they're they're all right, but they just they don't look good. I don't know. Here's uh there's one cantaloupe that we've got growing here on something that looks totally dead, but uh, it's grown. <clears throat> uh, let's see, over on this side, uh, Swiss chard, a bunch of lettuce. We picked a lot of lettuce. These are some new stuff that we replanted. Um, let's see, cilantro. This is like, I don't know, parsley or something back there. That isn't doing too well. This big lettuce, that looks pretty good. This is some uh, broccoli. Still waiting for some of that to come up. More big lettuce. Uh, oh yeah, that was Swiss Swiss chard. That's Swiss chard back there too. And we got, there's some more parsley. This is all cabbage coming up here. Some of it's doing real well. Some of it's not doing so good. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> uh, we got some romaine lettuce back there. This is some more, I uh, guess, this is butter crunch. Okay. Uh, more romaine. Then we get into the Great Lakes. Some's doing well, some's not. This is a black seed, seeded Simpson or something like that. Uh, here's a this is all like butter crunch, and then we're getting down here to uh, a bib lettuce. So that's all doing real good. Uh, these were the last tomatoes I planted. 
which are a beefsteak tomato. This, we've got a bunch of jalapenos that are taking quite a while to grow. I think it's because it's not quite warm enough. Um, some more jalapenos and bell peppers in here that are still pretty small. Garden beans. There's a raspberry or a blackberry bush. This one's a red raspberry. And that one there is a blueberry. Here's a red bell pepper that we actually cheated. We bought uh, this plant from Lowe's and got it in there, got it started. Everything else I've got in here pretty much started from seed. These are my radishes. These things are just going crazy. Um, you can see they're coming up. A bunch of them in there. Those things are doing very well. <clears throat> uh, okay, tomatoes again. This is uh, these are cherry tomatoes. So these things look like they're going to produce quite a bit. I mean, there's a uh, there's a lot of tomatoes on here. I mean, they're all small right now, but uh, they'll grow. Look pretty well. As you can see, they're getting pretty tall. All right, what else do we got? Okay, here we've got a bunch of, there's some garden beans in here. These are some suckers, uh, tomato plants that I pulled off. And on the other side there, there's a bunch of peas going on. I've got to get some wire mesh in there or something too, so I can get those to grow up. Uh, a bunch of garden beans. This is all uh, another variety of peas. Like I said, i got to get some wire in there or something so they can grow up uh, instead of just laying down like that. Uh, these are some more sucker uh, tomato plants that I planted. They come along. Going. Some more. This is some more peas. Different variety. In here. Uh, these are some beets, actually. I just uh, put those in there about a week ago. Let's we'll see what happens there. More sucker tomatoes. Uh, these are a couple basil plants that I actually pulled out of the raft and I moved them in here. And then along this backside here, this is uh, carrots. Put them in about a week ago, also. So we'll see how that does. All right, let's go around to the other side. Okay, here we got a bunch of, uh, what's this, Ar Arctic uh, King, it's a butter crunch or butterhead variety. Um, this is a bunch of pak choy. I put all this stuff in here about a week ago. Just finally get it all planted out. Pak choy. This is, uh, yeah, some more butter crunch. So as you can see, there's, there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's many uh, heads in each one of these, and the way I planted it, it was just multiple seeds, so I'll let it grow, and then once they start getting larger, then I'll just thin it out, and you know, with just one, one per uh, net cup. This is red cabbage, variety of red cabbage. Same thing, we'll have to thin all this out to just down to one. This is uh, Giant Caesar, which is not so giant right now, of course, just been planted. Same thing, we'll have to thin all this stuff out too once they start growing. More Caesar. This is a, an iceberg type lettuce, which uh, 
again, same thing, you know, have to thin it out once it starts growing. <clears throat> we actually have a, a few strawberry plants that I put in. Um, you know, getting a few strawberries out of it and stuff like that, but I don't know, I don't think this is really the best environment for uh, strawberries. But uh, we had a problem. There was an ant problem. And uh, put down these little tarot cards and that seemed to seem to kind of clean that up. So I don't know. We'll get a few strawberries off it. This is just a seed table. Um, got some celery that's starting to come up. This is this here is a micro mix. We're gonna try growing some microgreens and see how that goes. Um, back there, I got some marigolds started. I don't know, here that's a good idea to plant those around a greenhouse. Uh, I guess that certain smell or something deters bugs, certain bugs or something. Uh, this is another type of lettuce that's coming here. These are a bunch of extra peas I had left over because I planted out the whole flat, but I really didn't have room to plant all that stuff, so I'm going to get these over to the neighbors. Um, same thing with a lot of this stuff. Uh, these beets, beets and carrots just don't have room. Um, got some spinach back there. That's one of the hardest things that I've had uh, found to germinate. But uh, got a few coming up. Um, these are onions. Actually, a green onion. They're common. I mean, they're they're small, but. Uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens there too. So anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Fish are happy. We definitely, uh, I need uh, need more nutrients in this water. I mean, it's uh, it's just not even registering, uh, you know, nitrates yet. Uh, this, the fish density is not quite enough, so I got to grow so they can uh, produce more waste, which uh, in turn will give us more nutrients. So anyway, this is my do-it-yourself greenhouse uh, starter project. I said start small. Well, this is my small. Anyway, bye for now.